Hello, I'm Raymond Folk, a PhD student at the University of Washington. On behalf of my collaborators, I would like to present our work titled Supporting Business Document Workflows via Collection-Centric Information Forging with Large Language Models. Business workflows often consist of searching for and making sense of information within documents in service of a some goal. These tasks compose a sense-making process consisting of two integrated loops of cognitive activity. One in which people find and extract relevant information from their documents, and another in which people make sense of the information they've collected. To first understand the pain points in current sense-making processes within business workflows, we conducted interviews with 12 senior employees at a large technology company, including financial analysts, tax strategists, hiring managers, and other individuals across various functional areas of business. Through these interviews, we found that people worked with many different types of documents, from contracts to agreements to financial statements and resumes. People frequently worked with a large volume of documents, often working within tight timelines that didn't allow them to look at each document individually. Instead, they heuristically prioritized which documents they could review, for instance, based on some notion of risk. One common challenge that many participants described was the need to extract relevant information from many of their documents, repeating the same extraction process over each document repeatedly. Extracting this information was necessary in service of higher order goals, for instance, to synthesize actionable insights or inform downstream decision making. However, many participants described this process as largely repetitive, manual without tool support, and tedious. And so in this work, we explore how we can design human AI systems that leverage intelligent technology to support people in effectively and reliably extracting, foraging, and making sense of the vast information spread out across their document collection. Some of our key design goals included reducing the cognitive costs required to extract relevant information from every document, allowing people instead to focus on sense-making, providing the means to elicit and use people's own task expertise that they've accrued, and offering people the appropriate controls to effectively collaborate and also stay in control of potentially imperfect assistance. And so in this work, we introduce Marco, an AI-assisted sense-making workspace. Marco consists of three views. In a notebook view, users can collaborate with an AI assistant to forage for information across many documents at once. Information that users collect throughout their work is organized automatically into a table view which provides a familiar and simple surface for reasoning over and comparing across documents. Users can further drill down into individual documents within a built-in document view. Marco is built around a concept of actions, which provide a simple way for users to delegate traditionally tedious information gathering tasks to an AI assistant through natural language. Actions map foraging actions operations over many documents at once, thus allowing users to engage with information across their entire document collection as a whole, rather than individually at the level of single documents. Actions are enabled by large language models, which uh, allow both the extraction and retrieval augmented generation of relevant information grounded in the documents themselves. And so there are four main types of actions within Markham. First, users can ask questions about each document separately. They can also perform a semantic or lexical exact search across each of their documents. They can summarize each document along a desired aspect or any number of aspects. Finally, they can also ask questions that require synthesizing information across multiple documents in a collection. To achieve this, Marco uses a multi-stage workflow in which an LLM first identifies attributes of the documents that are required to answer the user's query that the user hasn't previously already extracted in a previous action. It then extracts the information relevant to these attributes from each of the documents, organizes it into a schema, and then synthesizes the final answer by prompting an LLM using the relevant extracted information for each of these attributes as context. As users explore their documents by creating actions, Marco provides additional support by suggesting actions as additional foraging directions that users may want to take based on their previously stated goals and executed actions. The information retrie retrieved from each action is presented within a table of results, where each row corresponds to one document in the collection, 
and each column corresponds to the information seeking query forming the action. Each of these individual result tables are then aggregated into an overview within Marco's table view. This view serves to enable easier visual comparison of documents across multiple aspects of interest, for instance, by scanning across columns of the table. Within an action, each row of the result table is deeply contextually linked back to evidence in the original document, providing attribution for a user to drill down into the document at the precise location to verify the retrieved AI results. And so next I'll describe the evaluation of Marco. We conducted a controlled usability study with 16 participants. Participants were tasked with answering a variety of questions using Marco in a baseline condition over two different document collections. In one, participants played the role of a hiring manager reviewing a set of resumes. In the other, they played an office manager selecting a cleaning service company given a collection of contracts. We found that participants using Marco completed the tasks more quickly on average than using the baseline approach of manual inspection. Participants also self-reported the tasks were easier to complete and required less effort using Marco and natural language actions than a baseline approach. In a second study, we used Marco as a design probe, recruiting six additional participants across various business areas, aiming to get more qualitative insight into how Marco could benefit real-world, document-centered business workflows. The study was conducted as a semi-structured think-aloud interview in which participants used Marco and described how they felt its interactions could apply to their own document collections that they use for their real world work. Participants generally expressed positive impressions of the AI assisted workflow, citing how the tedium of current processes could be addressed by adopting these systems, which would help to increase their coverage of their review over their large document collections. However, participants also emphasized the importance of checking the AI's work. They appreciated the ability to quickly verify the AI summarized content by linking to the evidence in the original documents. Participants also described how the notebook and table views served complementary purposes for their workflows. The notebook primarily served as exploration and for analysis by continually creating actions that could extract information in a lightweight manner. While the table view was useful for focusing on specific documents across many aspects of interest at once, providing an overview of all documents and all actions, as well as as a means for sharing their work with others. Our studies also revealed several limitations of Marco in our work, including potentially insufficient guardrails for over-reliance on AI assistance, particularly with uh, an increasing number of documents. For instance, some of the manual verification strategies, such as those we observed in our studies with Marco, could quickly become ineffective with hundreds or thousands of documents. We see a necessary opportunity to explore new means of supporting people in browsing and verifying these large amounts of AI-generated content, particularly in knowledge-intensive domains where these generative models are continually used for retrieving and generating information based on documents themselves. We also designed and evaluated Marco on tasks with a clear workflow outcome, for instance, specific types of business decision making. The benefits of Marco's interactions are arguably less clear in other more exploratory sense making tasks, such as using documents to learn a new skill, debug code, or write in more creative contexts. Finally, the collections we explored in this work were largely homogenous sets of primarily text documents, as these were the most common in many of the business domains we aim to support. However, future work can explore how extensions of these collection-centric actions powered by large language models can be used to process multimodal content. For instance, mapping foraging actions over collections of images and videos in addition to text documents. Finally, we see this work as shedding light on an emergent paradigm shift in responsibilities within human AI collaboration for knowledge work. Current business processes necessitate many tedious manual foraging tasks, extracting information from documents before sense making can really even begin. However, with substantial improvements in current language understanding capabilities, we see a new collaboration paradigm in which individuals primarily engage with AI through different means by articulating and specifying their goals and objectives at a macro level, entrusting the AI by delegating these foraging processes 
and instead focusing on evaluating the intermediate AI retrieved or generated snippets as output, allowing users thus to focus on higher level sense making rather than lower level foraging tasks. Thank you. For more information, please check out our full paper in the Kai Proceedings.